What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Star Wars unboxing video. That's what we do here and that's what we love. I hope you guys love it too. And if you do, like and subscribe here on YouTube. It really, really helps. Leave me a comment, turn the notifications on. You guys know what to do. I really, really appreciate it. Then head on over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All will be linked in the bio. Now, let's get to the unboxing. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the fifth brother, one of the Inquisitors from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series that we've seen on Disney+. Plus. What a great, great series that was. But we first seen this guy originally on Rebels. Great, great character on that series also. But got his rear end handed to him in the end. If you've seen the series, if you've not, sort of spoil it for you. It's been out for quite a few years now. Go watch it, and go watch Obi-Wan Kenobi and see this guy in, well, he didn't get a whole lot of action in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Kind of looked menacing and sounded mean, but didn't, I don't even think he fought. Did this guy fight at all? I don't think he fought, but that's maybe one of the downsides of the uh, uh, series in itself. But here we have the Black Series, fifth brother, the humanoid male. The uh, blurb on the back is the same as the uh, uh, Darth Vader figure that I uh, unboxed. If you want to go back and check that figure out, great figure there. But here we have, as I said, the fifth brother from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series in the six-inch black series from Hasbro. Great picture on the side there. The uh, the actor, oh, I'm not sure the actor's name. He was in, um, yeah, he was in Fast and Furious, I believe. So, yeah. That guy. <laughs> Sorry, guy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this box open. Open this box open. How about that one? Open this box up. Open this box open. That's pretty good. A few cuts of tape. We're in business. A little cut of plastic there. All right, so instead of, because this looks very, very unstable, I'm gonna cut this tape. So I don't mess this, whoa, there we go. Mess this lightsaber up. This is a huge blade. <laughs> Look at that. The Inquisitor's light stool lightsaber. Man. Ever since I watched Rebels, I've always wanted, um, some kind of a uh, figure of one of these um, one of these blades and we have it a little knob on the back there I really hope that doesn't get in the way of uh, with the hand being able to hold the lightsaber it's kind of weird it would have been nice to have uh, uh, two bla uh, two hilts you know I know the uh, the blades are removable so you have your empty hilt, but it would have been nice to have uh, uh, just the full hilt itself without that nub on the back there. So maybe the first complaint right there. But if he holds it well, I'm not going to complain at all. Great looking lightsaber, man. Look at this. Great detail, man. Great lightsaber. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's get the fifth brother out. Should be a pretty happy figure. Considering the uh, size of the character himself. So yeah, big old boots, big old Frankenstein looking boots. I'm assuming to make the actor look taller. Because <laughs> I believe uh, the fifth brother was quite tall in uh, um, Rebels. The uh, the hat there, I guess it's a hat. His face looks very menacing. I wish we would have seen him fight. Great looking armor. We have an opportunity to make a um, kind of a Cal Kestis, uh Inquisitor mock-up with this guy, maybe. If the uh, uh, heads fit, we may have a Cal Kestis Inquisitor here. But yeah, just a great figure here. We, we've seen this leg armor before. They're, they're kind of uh, uh, using this, I guess, 
uh, the armor is a little bit soft and you know so you can kind of move the arm and stuff like that speaking of uh, um, the head articulation the neck doesn't go down because of the armor but it kind of looks up left and right's great arms go all the way up that's the beauty of that soft armor elbows there it is that maybe <clears throat> Well, we seem to have a locked elbow here, ladies and gentlemen. Can't believe that I've, uh, I don't think I've ever ran into a locked lamb before. Oh, there it goes. See, just a little movement. But that is a stiff elbow. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else ran into that problem? If you've got this figured, drop in the comments. So yeah, the feet are great. Legs move wonderfully. Make sure I'm pulling back down though, or you'll have to bow those uh, armored plates up. See how they kind of bend up into the into the belt there. Wonderful. All right, let's get some lightsabers in hand. Okay, so it isn't bad at all. You can actually hide it behind his hand there and make it really, really presentable. And he holds it very, very well. It kind of took a little bit to uh, kind of get used to it just because I've never had to pose a, a hand in an enclosed ring like that. So it was kind of weird at first, but uh, uh, we have it there. And uh, you know, you can adjust this any, any way you want. Kind of put the arm out so it's kind of using the force or, you know, kind of looking back or you can do it any way you want. That's just a basic little pose there, and it was kind of kind of easy to get into, but uh, as, as I said, the only thing that was kind of weird was putting his hand inside this enclosed space here, because uh, you know you have a lot of stuff there, and you and you really don't want to band anything up. But uh, now let's go ahead and put the lightsaber on his back and the iconic Inquisitor lightsaber on the back pose. So yeah, that is just wonderful. Um, I'm super glad that they included that peg, but as I said earlier, it would have been even better to have a second hilt that did not have a peg in it, because it really limits your hand motion, and getting it out of his hand was even more tricky. Like, that was that was super tricky getting it out of his hand without bending or, you know, trying to break anything or stretch anything out and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, the, on the lightsaber on the back looks just grand, no pun intended, this guy wanted to be the Grand Inquisitor so bad. But didn't do it. Because you didn't even spark your lightsaber up. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The fifth brother. The humanoid male. Inquisitor from the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series. Slash Rebels that we've seen. His original appearance, which was uh, my favorite. Minus the flying helicopter spinning lightsabers. Didn't like that part. But anyway, what a great Black Series figure we have here. Some great art here on the side, which the packaging has always been great. I really hope that we always see this kind of packaging. But anyway, if you like this video, make sure and drop a like and subscribe here on YouTube. Really, really helps. Turn the notifications on. Leave me a comment, as I said. I would really, really love to talk Star Wars with you guys. Let me know what you think of the videos. Let me think that you don't like, anything you like. Does it drag on too long? Are they too short? Let me know something. I would really like to hear from you guys. Head on over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All will be linked in the bio if you go there and check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. May the Force be with you.